Measuring the fish biomass. At least one sample per month must be collected for the necessary estimation of the average fish biomass. By multiplying the average weight by the number of fishes, we can have the biomass of each tank. Sampling procedure. Necessary equipment. A scale up to 20 kilograms with an accuracy of up to 5 grams. Buckets with a capacity of 20 to 50 liters. Hand nets. Clove oil for anesthesia. Before the sampling procedure, we must ensure the fish is not fed for 24 hours. The oxygen levels must be maintained above the safe limit that is 4.5 parts per million or ppm. The oxygen diffusers should be checked and cleaned if dirty. All the required equipment should be washed with fresh water. The water level in the tank must be dropped to about 20 centimeters so that fish is caught easily. A few minutes before we start the fishing, it is recommended to place a little anesthetic in the tank to avoid having the fish injured during handling. A random sampling of fish should be done using a large hand net and catch as many fish as possible from all existing fish sizes in the tank. The sample fish will be counted and weighed carefully. We should then record the results and repeat the procedure. If the first two samples are not similar, we should do the third procedure. By dividing the number of fish with the weight, we extract the average weight of the tank. By multiplying the exported average weight by the total number of fish existing in the tank, we get the biomass of fish at each tank. The average weight multiplied by the total number of fishes is equal to fish biomass. After knowing the fish biomass, we can calculate the necessary amount of fish feed for each tank according to the fish size. After this, we need to estimate the time required for the fish to be ready for sale and also estimate the oxygen requirements for each tank. We need to apply fish size classification when the population is not homogeneous.